Hello and welcome to my reset vlog. So this is kind of going to be a triple threat reset. First of all, it's the end of the month, so I have to calculate all my finances and set myself up for the coming month. Third of all, no second of all, it's kind of like the end of the week for me because my weeks sort of end on a Sunday or a Monday. So I have to get myself ready for the coming week. And third of all, I just finished like a 50 hour, 50 hours of work in three days plus three sleepovers. Um, basically, I started work at 2 p.m. on Friday and I just finished at 10 a.m. on Monday and I worked all the way through and I did sleepovers. So I get paid to sleep over, but my client has seizures, so I have to sort of sleep, but also be awake so that if they have a seizure, which my client did have a seizure, I think on Saturday night um, at 3.30 a.m., I have to respond to it um, and obviously help them and administer medication or whatever um, seems appropriate at the time. So I'm exhausted and I probably won't be able to speak very well, but we're going to reset and we're going to feel better about ourselves and life and we're going to wash our hair and organize some things and unpack and do laundry. So welcome to my reset vlog. Okay. Probably the first thing I'm gonna do is unpack everything. I've just dumped all my stuff at the door so I could um, get my camera and start filming how I reset my life. Um, so first things first, I'm actually probably gonna get some water because I'm very thirsty been up very early this morning I ate um, ice cream and leftover Chinese food for breakfast so doing well um, really healthy today <laughs> so let's get into it let's get myself organized <laughs> It is actually such a nice day today. Look at this. Blue skies. And the mountains look really lovely as well. And here's my fat cat. My fat cat. Hi, Miss. You say hi, Miss. So I took a break from unpacking to like chill with my cat and enjoy the sunshine and the view and I was like patting her and then we could hear like rustling in the bushes and she fully went on edge and was like staring off the veranda um, trying to see what it was and we couldn't see anything and then like three minutes later this giant brown oh my god I can see it okay I don't know if you can see it but it's like down there through the through the hedges i'm going to zoom in the camera a lot it's going to be pretty dodgy quality but <gasps> there it is ah! it's huge oh, oh my god oh that's not okay i'm not comfortable with this like you know used to snakes live in australia but not nah, not a giant brown snake like right next to our house it's just hiding behind this bush it's coming out Oh, it's a big ass snake. Oh my God, can you, I hope you can see this. This is insane. Oi. Yeah, that's definitely a brown snake and that is not what you want. That's like the last kind of snake you want near your house. Um, so it's gone away, like, well, it's not gone away, it's just gone down and not in my view anymore. I feel like genuinely shaky, I can feel like the <laughs> heebie-jeebies like running through me and I'm, yeah, I don't know why it's this close to the house. They've, I've only ever seen a brown like further down on the property, but yeah, it's 
huge and also it's like one of the most deadly snakes so like i don't mind snakes you know they kind of creep me out i'd much rather prefer spiders over snakes because i just feel like they're just like the way they slither i'm just a little bit like Ugh, like not a fan however i'm used to them like we've got a python that sometimes live in the roof or like, we'll hang around on the balcony um and we've had pythons in the garden i even have seen like a red belly black snake before but that was like a chonkin big ass brown snake and I've never had them that close to the house, so that's slightly terrifying. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go inside and clean myself up um, after trying to get my cat in. She's doing better now. She was a bit, I think, confused to like everything that just went down. Um, but yeah, it's the reason it's like it's not her fault obviously that she's scratched and bitten me because pretty much when she sees a snake she goes full on on edge like she can tell that that's a predator that's gonna like come for her so she yeah she kind of goes into like this fight or flight mode um and yeah her instincts obviously are kind of to just like watch it so when i picked her up she just was not happy she doesn't like being picked up anyway but definitely not when she's watching a snake oh poor mish mish I've done my best to clean my hand and like yeah get all the gross stuff off it but yeah now I've got to go help a friend run their car up to the mechanic although that's going to take like quite a bit of time out of my day because the mechanic's like 40 minutes away for now I'm just going to do like 10 minutes more of organizing and then I'm gonna go <laughs> with my monthly totals which I'm pretty happy because I got it done relatively quickly um, I just need to figure out how much I made and then work out obviously how much I saved from that um, which I'll do tomorrow when I have to send out my invoice for this weekend anyway and I was very happy because I got to my final figure like the first go which often doesn't happen and then I end up having to like re-add everything up several times so the light is fading and so am I um, I'm probably gonna have a bath and then go to bed because I am exhausted and I look as bad as I feel right now um, and then we'll continue with the reset tomorrow good night <laughs> Like 6.20 a.m. I'm usually like never awake this early by choice. It's like unless I'm going to work. So I feel very like, hmm, what's going on? What's this all about? Um, but I think I'm awake pretty much because I was asleep last night by 8.30. By so I got like all my sleeping done pretty early. Um, I'm going to start this productivity early. And I feel like waking up early in the morning is like, yeah, mm, I can do it. I can get stuff done. Even though it's like an hour difference. But it makes you feel... Like you've already achieved something, even though I didn't because it's just my body doing what's actually natural for itself. Welcome to my kitchen. So first thing is going to be breakfast because I am starving. I Yesterday I ate terribly. I had my Chinese food and ice cream for breakfast. And then I had cheese, cucumber and like crackers and hummus at like three o'clock when I like couldn't keep going without food and then I didn't eat anything else for the rest of the day and I just went to bed I'm kind of glad I did that because I do just need to like detox a bit because as you can see like my face it's flaring up and that's pretty much just to do with like my terrible diet over the weekend I'm someone that kind of like relies on sugar as like my energy boost so I had quite a few sodas and like ice cream and chocolate and things like that to kind of get me through so I'm paying for it on my face right now. Um, so breakfast. So I really love pawpaw with lime. 
Although, to get the limes, I have to go down where the snake was yesterday. I'm not excited about it, but it is quite cold this morning, which means the, if the snake is there, it's going to be very slow and it's probably like not out. It's probably like hibernating in a hole. So we're going to risk it for the lime because lime and purple is like the ultimate combination. So I'll be back. <laughs> like 8 30 now i want to say and i did do like my morning routine and just kind of like messed around a bit but then i did get productive i got my invoice done i sent it off and i was able to calculate the pay i made for august which was quite a lot but i'll go into that and break that down in my low buy update so we won't get into that now um but i did also write out my nana's birthday card and i thought i could quickly share with you the cute things i got her for her birthday i'm gonna do a nana haul if you will so i got her two mugs and then i got her some matching tea towels because every good nana has a wide wide variety of gorgeous tea towels so i've got the lorikeets and the kookaburras and then i got a, a bonus kookaburra tea towel because she was going on about how she loves the kookaburras um and then because i'm extra cute i crocheted her a beanie to keep her warm because it's like heading into winter in the uk so yeah that's my little haul hopefully i will get that off to the post office if not today then definitely tomorrow <music> very put together and like I have my whole life organized because it's 11 30 and I finally got out of my pajamas um, and I also put some concealer on my pimples and under my bags under my eyes hiding all my imperfections makes me so feel somehow mildly better about my life um, yeah so I'm going to sit down I'm gonna do my August low buy update film that and then I'm going to sushi with my dad which I'm really excited about because I love sushi and yeah, I don't know what else I'm going to do for the rest of the day, so... I'm just here hanging out with my little fat cat she's given herself a little <laughs> clean as well um, so I've been home about an hour and um, I've just been doing some like basic house cleany stuff and vacuuming and just tidying up general tidying up but I had a really nice lunch with dad it was fun to hang out with him although he like wasn't happy about the idea of me vlogging so I didn't want to be on the vlog although he is like open to it because I've asked him about doing like a sit down Q&A and he has said that he would do it if people get him up with some good questions for him. So if you do have any questions, because I know some people were interested in that, put them down in the comments below. I'll run it past him and hopefully he'll be up for it because I think it'll be really funny. And I just, yeah, I really love my dad and I think the world should see my dad because he's just like a great human. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to end the vlog here because kind of gotten everything I need to do done it's been a bit of a whirlwind of a <laughs> vlogging time um so yeah if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of these kind of videos let me know in the comments and yeah thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye <laughs>